In this video, we're going to look at advanced grading in Moodle 3.3, and we're going to specifically look at how to use, how to create and use rubrics to grade your assignments. So uh, first thing, as always, turn editing on. And I'm going to go to one of, I'm going to go to uh, the unit that I've been creating all my test assignments. And I'm going to add an activity or a resource. So again, the easiest way to include this rubric is to um, set it when you are defining the assignment. So let me add an assignment. And I'm going to give this one a name, test assignment rubric. I'm just going to put a little description for uh, the assignment itself. In this assignment, you will argue for the use of rubrics over traditional point-based scoring. And not really worried about the availability again. It's open for a week. Remind me to grade is fine. I want to adjust the grading options and switch it from simple direct grading to rubric grading. And so that when I go to save and display, it's going to tell me I don't have a rubric assigned for this ass assessment. I need to define one from scratch. Note again that you could always switch it to marking guide here as well, but we've done that one already. So we're going to go and define a new grading uh, rubric grading from scratch just click on that there and I'll entitle it rubric for test assignment and then you just go and create the rubric so you uh, edit the criterion and this one is going to be uh, includes facts and edit level you can change that some people st start their rubrics from zero some start from one whatever uh, whichever you prefer the default is to start from zero I'll just leave it at the default uh, also you can switch from ascending to descending which would mean that the descending the highest uh, value criteria, uh, highest value edit level, level would appear first and then go down. Default is for the lowest to appear first and go up. So uh, does not include any facts, any relevant facts. Let me give that one point. Uh, leave it at zero includes few relevant facts and this third level this is going to be for me the um, satisfactory level includes sufficient facts to make case I don't know whatever you want to put and I'm going to add a level uh, Includes um, facts, includes all sufficient facts and uh, additional facts to convince readers. And so that's the first quite criterion and the various scoring levels. To add a criterion then, you just click here and you can add a new one. So the second I'm going to add is organization. Uh, no apparent 
organizers know. Framework. And the next level is going to be one minimal organization. That's not ordered, but at least grouped. Remember, this is the uh, minimal level for uh, acceptable performance. So I'm going to put uh, facts ordered and grouped appropriately. And this is the above um, acceptable level. So I'm going to put uh, facts ordered and grouped in a way to um, create convincing argument. And so I've included two cr uh, criteria. You can include as many as you want. And uh, again, remember I said you can, you can use zero as your minimum grade, or you can change it by clicking this button and then changing the minimum grades. Allow users to preview rubric. This is always very useful so that the users can actually see what they're going to be, what and how they're going to be scored on the assignment. Display rubric during evaluation is helpful to, to the markers because then they could just uh, um, drop on the points and display points during each level of evaluation. You can include all of these things or leave them out, whichever one you want. So um, I'm going to save and make it ready. And so now the uh, assignment is ready to be graded. I'm going to just log out, and we're going to log back in as a student, and you will see how it looks for the student doing that assignment. So I'm going to log in as guest user. Log in, and I'll go straight to that course and straight to that assignment. Test assignment, pretty sure that was uh, one. Well, let's just make sure. Demo course, scroll down, test assignment rubric. This is the one that I want. And you'll see now that the actual rubric, rubric appears when the student goes to complete the assignment. So that's really all that there is to creating a rubric. Let's just review those steps. I'll log out and log back in as myself again. So, When you're setting up the assignment, first thing to do is set uh, grading to rubric, save and display, then you will be um, allowed to actually edit the, the rubric and you add criteria and levels for each criteria that you want to mark on. That's really all there is to it. I hope that this helped and until next time.